Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Renee Box Young, a platform where we simply discuss, critique, and lie. Simply talk about sport of boxing in a level headed, mature, coherent fashion. Definitely, you know how we do it here, man. Subscribers since day one, recent subscribers. I appreciate you all. Thank you guys so much, man, for rocking with me. Definitely tuning into the Flash Lives, tuning into the previously scheduled lives, you know, tuning into the, uh, you know, uh, videos, the premieres such as this, tuning in real time, uh, commenting, chatting away with me, definitely. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. You know, playback family salute. Thank you so much for commenting on the comment sections of the videos. You know, uh, the the posts that I put, the community posts. You know, commenting there. I just I appreciate each and every one of you, man. Thank you guys so much. If you're new, um, if you love the sport of boxing, just go ahead and subscribe. You know, uh, this is a place for you. Simple as that. We just love the sport of boxing. We talk about it. We chop it up. That's exactly what we're going to do in this video, as always. You know what I'm saying? Definitely go ahead and like it up. Hit the notifica notification bell so you know when I do, you know, push content such as this. Thank you guys so much, man. I want to get to this and talk about, um, you know, we, as a matter of fact, you know, after the um, after the Teofimo and Cambosos fight, you know, Cambosos got the victory in a... In a pretty great fashion i liked it i really liked that fight man fun fight to watch definitely it was a fun fight enjoyable fight Tio put up a good fight too man got nothing to take away from him definitely um and we went live you know my guy lovar cooper my sidekick man we went live and we talked about it chopped it up post fight reaction a couple days later or what have you um you can check it out it's on the channel and you know, I, we were talking about what the ramifications are going to be. You know, what what who's gonna who who's most likely gonna fight Cambosos next? We talked about it, um, and let's check it out right now. As you know, a lot of people are talking about right now the um, you know the tweets, uh, Cambosos going back and forth with Devin Haney, Cambosos putting up a poll, um, you know, on Twitter asking the fans, you know, who he should fight next or what have you. We all know that, you know. We all know that, um, you know, Cambosos and Devin Haney, they, they went back and forth. They were, uh, I guess it was kind of face-to-face -face thing. They met up uh, in, in a fight. Whatever fight it was, man, I forgot which one it was. But I think it was a Lomachenko fight or something. I don't know. But, you know, and Haney always does it, man. He always, and that's, that's, that's mad respect because a lot of fighters don't really do that nowadays, unfortunately. <laughs> you know, they don't really go and fi uh, find the fighter. You know, kind of like what uh, Demetrius Andrade, um, you know, what Andrade did to uh, Canelo. After Canelo fought, I think it was Billy Joe Saunders, but we all know that that fight's not going to happen anyway. I knew it wasn't going to happen anyway, so that's where the famous uh, payday, payday, you want payday. I know that. <laughs> that's where that came out, right? Uh, but, you know, respect, man, because a lot of these fighters aren't really doing that. You know, they're not really aggressively seeking out their opponents. Haney does, and that that's awesome. You know what I'm saying? I, I really respect that in Haney and obviously what he does in the ring and stuff, but... You know, we talked about, um, everybody saw that, that Haney went to, to Cambo, and Cambo was talking about, I want to see exciting fights. We broke that down to, you know, uh, in live sessions, and I, I, I had a doubt in my mind. Check this out, man. I want to start with this, and we're going to get to the tweets and all that. Everybody's watching it, yeah, seeing those tweets, but I just want to get my input on this, you know. Um, everybody, everybody knows that, you know, Cambo said... You know that he wants an exciting fight. He wants a fight who he, that 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 brings energy and brings excitement in the ring. Okay. Now that Cambo got his belts, and this is the true test, man. With all these fighters, I've said it time and time again. The true test here, ladies and gentlemen, is what are these fighters gonna do when they get the belts? You know, um, most of the fighters, man, most champs nowadays. It seems like most, not all of them, obviously, but. It seems like most, they get kind of complacent when they get the belts, you know. And then they start flipping the script and, you know, kind of shy away. Not necessarily saying ducking or whatever. I mean, you know, people can term it what they want, but, you know, they just kind of slow down. You know, while they're climbing up the ladder, while they're, you know, um, contenders, prospects, contenders, whatever. And then they move up, you know, and then they win. They become champs. You know, they, they win that belt or belts, plural. Kind of back off and kind of slow down, you know. I don't know if Campbell's going to do that. That's the thing here. You know, it's just a test of time. It's just a test of time because right now he's fresh, ladies and gentlemen. You know, he's new on the scene, even though he's been boxing for a long time. You know, he's been boxing for years. Um, you know, he has quite a bit of experience under his belt. Maybe not too many fights, but, you know, he, he, he knows, you know, he's been around in the sport of boxing. You know, and he's fresh, though, as far as, you know, becoming a champ of this stature. I don't think he's ever been champ before ever I think this is his first time and you know obtaining these belts it's, it's an amazing you know accolade it's an amazing you know accomplishment 
So we definitely got to give respect to Cambosos, man. You know, as I always give respect to fighters, you know. Credit to whom credit is due, you know what I'm saying? Um, so we don't really know, like, what he's going to do. Is he going to be complacent? Is he going to just, you know... But I don't know, man, because the way he speaks in interviews and things of that nature, it seems like he's quite... He's not letting it go to his head. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. It's, it's not letting it go to his head. Who knows if he's going to become complacent, though? We all know what happened to Teofimo as far as letting it go to his head. His head got too inflated. And it popped like a bubble. It just, you know, blew up like a bubble too much. And bam, pop goes the weasel. You know what I'm saying? So, but hey, I wish the best for Teofimo. That's why I'm not even considering him right now. Because who the heck knows what's going on with Teofimo Lopez. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, That's why in this thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen, you don't see Ryan Garcia. I know there are posts out there in social media from, you know, boxing platforms or what have you. Putting, you know... Uh, Ryan Garcia, you know, Pitbull Cruz also, you know, th I'm not putting them here because I don't think they're going to be options. I don't think Cambo is going to fight Ryan Garcia. Obviously, Teofimo Lopez, you know, he's dealing with his issues um, and, or Pitbull Cruz. You know, I don't think any of those guys are on the table for Cambo. They probably are on the table, but I don't think that Cambo is going to opt for fighting any of those guys. You know, Ryan Garcia, uh, Pitbull, or Teofimo Lopez, um, they should be fighting each other too. You know, I don't know, but that's why I just have these guys in a the thumbnail. Lomachenko and Devin Haney. You know, I think those are the most probable opponents that Cam Bosos is going to fight. So I repeat, the question is that. Is, is Cambo going to get complacent? Now, check us out. Before we get to the tweets and stuff, because everybody's seen these tweets and you know, I, I want to mention them. And this is just me analyzing it. You know, we've talked about it in the post-fight reaction. And I incline more that it's going to be Lomachenko, man. I incline more towards that. But who the heck knows? Nobody knows, man. You know what I'm saying? We can just speculate and, you know, chop it up and, 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 and analyze and, you know, check out the tweets, check out the interviews and things of that nature, you know, but I kind of lean towards it's going to be Lomachenko and I have my reasons why we're going to check in a moment, but um, we really don't know exactly who he's going to fight, you know, but let, let's see, man. Let's check it out. I want to show you this. I want to show you this. I'm sure everybody's seeing the, these tweets that are being posted by, uh, you know, Cam Bosos as of late and Devin Haney. We're going to check it out. They're kind of going back and forth. Um, but I want to give my reasoning to why I think it's not going to be Haney next, okay? And this is one of them. This is one of the small reasons, okay? Like I said, we really don't know who the heck uh, Cambos is going to fight next. For all we know, it's probably going to be a surprise and, you know, be a mandatory defense or something against Ryan Garcia. Who the heck knows? But I doubt it, you know? But we'll see. Who knows? Um, so we have here, you know, let me just go ahead and center that just a, a tad, you know, like to have it in the center there. Um, you know, Cam Boso's tweet, everything we're going to see here is on, you know, links in the description. You check it out, right? Um, so this is, uh, Cam, uh, George Cam Boso's official Twitter profile, whatever. Haney, Lomachenko, Tank, Garcia, he put a post, a poll, all right? Who's next? I want them all, okay? Who do the great fans want to see me defend my crown? my crown against in 2022 now i gotta stop here okay i gotta stop here i gotta stop here and i gotta mention this okay this is what i like about cambo okay this is what i like about him that he's been say saying it before and now he's saying it you know what i'm saying he's kind of consistent on it maybe not 100 percent, but kind of consistent on it that he wants all these guys I don't think Ryan Garcia is a top guy. I think if I'm mistaken, the, the mention there, one of the names there was Ryan Garcia. I don't think he's a top guy there at 135. People can say what they want. I really don't care. But, you know, I, I don't see Ryan Garcia as top. We don't even know what the heck's going on with Ryan Garcia either. <laughs> you know, he's back on the Cobra brag, he's bag. He's back on social media. I, I just don't, that guy don't convince me as of yet. And I've given my respect, a whole lot of respect to Ryan Garcia, definitely, uh, you know, concerning his last fight. You know, Ryan Garcia hasn't been active at all. Once a year fighter, I mean, just just cut it out with that. You know what I'm saying? Cut it out with that. You know, so I don't... But he says he wants them all. Campbell wants them all. I don't doubt he wants to fight all these guys, man. I don't. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, these guys can only fight once... A, it's kind of like what I said in, in one of my recent videos with Spence and Ugas. You know, Spence can only fight one guy at a time. We all want to see, I know it, you know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people who criticize, or however many people out there who criticize it, whatever. The Spence and Ugas fight. And people even talking about boycotting it, whatever, right? I, I pushed a video on that, y'all check that out. Um, but Spence can only fight one guy at a time. And I personally do think he's doing all the, the heavy lifting in the, in the welterweight division. I really do. I think Spence is, you know. And with Cambo, I kind of apply that also, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? He can't fight all the guys at the same time, okay? I mean, we all want to see Cambo fight the top guys. We all want to see Cambo fight Tank. 
we all, and even though that, that's not going to happen, of course not, and you, I think you guys all know why, okay? I don't think Tank's handlers will permit him to do that, okay? Whatever with Tank's handlers, okay? Not Tank, but his handlers. Um, you know, he, we all want to see him fight Tank. We all want to see him fight Lomachenko, or, or maybe some, or more or less, I don't know. We all want to see him fight Haney. We all want to see him fight, you know, all those other names out there, right? But, you know, he can only fight one guy at a time. Campbell, I don't think he, I don't, I, I don't doubt him too much when he says he wants them all. I don't doubt that, okay? I would be kind of upset. This is where I would be upset. And this is where I would see, ladies and gentlemen, inconsistency, more inconsistency on the part of Cambosos. If he turns around and fights some, you know, lower tier guy in the top 10 or top 15, that's, because that's what a lot of champs do, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just be realistic here, okay? Let's just be realistic. There are a few champs out there that are not doing that. Jermel Charlo's not doing it. He's fighting the top. He's been fighting the top at 154 in his respective division. I know there are people that want to criticize Jermel, not Jermel, Jermel. I don't even, you know, Jermel I don't even consider anymore when it comes to that. When it comes to, you know, talking about champs who, who, who fight the best out there as much as they can. Jermel is not one of them, okay? Jermel is. Let's not get twisted. I'm, I'm talking about Jermel, okay? In his respected division, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, he's been taught, he's been fighting the top, and I mean, come on, you know, Spence has been fighting the top. There are other names out there, you know, maybe Canelo debatably has been fighting the top, but I have nothing to take away from Canelo with his recent accomplishment, 168, cleaning it out, man. I mean, I got really nothing to say against that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and there are some select few fighters out there who have been fighting the top in other divisions or what have you. You know the names, I'm sure, okay? You know, woman, female boxing, Amanda Serrano, the things that she's doing, Jessica McCaskill. I mean, you know, the list goes on, but it's not too many, okay? So this is where I would see and where I would get disappointed and where I would doubt Cambosos and what he's saying that he wants them all. If he were to turn around, okay, because it's a possibility, ladies and gentlemen. It's a po Look at all these freaking belts he has. Three belts? Okay, and I don't even consider either what Mauricio Suleiman is saying. That guy is twisted. He don't know. He's confused, okay? I, I can care less what he says now. He has lost a lot of respect, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about Mauricio Suleiman, which is why I'm not even considering that WBC belt, whatever the heck belt they want to call it, that Teofimo had, that Cambo got, okay? That Cambo received and won from Teofimo. I really don't care about that WBC belt. Who cares? You know, you know the WBC, they're just getting kind of weird. You know, the nurse belt that Spence got, I, I understand it. You know, Spence just, you know, Mauricio made it for that, the winner of that fight when, you know, that nurse belt. What the heck is that? Yeah, I just don't, you know, whatever, man. Mauricio, he, he's really out of it. You know, he's just here, there, everywhere, up, down, all around. He don't know what the heck he says. He don't think about what he says. And he gets confused in his own, in his own freaking statements. It's a shame. It's a big shame. You know what I'm saying? Devin Haney retweeting it on his Twitter account. I'm so proud of our WBC boxing lightweight champion. You see? Real Devin Haney who has an ex exemplary journey. And then he talks about his accolades, okay? Um, you know, four title defenses and all those, you know, you know, world youth, international, et cetera, et cetera. You know, four defenses, defeating Gamboa, Linares. 2022 will be a sensational year, champ. Okay, so what the heck? You see, that's what I'm saying here. Mauricio's just all over the place, man. He said pride champion and that he's not the, the real WBC champion, that Teofimo and then that Cambo are the undisputed champs. And then now he comes back and saying this. Mauricio's all over the freaking place, man. Those three belts that Cambo has, you know what I'm saying? For all we know, he can turn around and defend one of those belts um, or, you know, fight one of these lower top 15 or top 10 guys. He can do that. And that's where I would see inconsistency on Cambosa's part and say, you know what? He really doesn't, he's, he's being complacent like a lot of these other champs. You know what I'm saying? But as of now, this is my point. And that tweet we just saw, he says he wants them all. I don't doubt he wants them all. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, he can only fight one guy at a time. You know what I'm saying? In my humble opinion, let's check it out. Here we go. In my humble opinion, I think he should fight Haney, which is why you see here in this tweet, in this poll, I checked Haney. That's why you see the check mark, okay? Um, I, I, I checked Haney because I think that Haney has long deserved to fight to fight undisputed. Um, you know, he didn't fight, or more like Teofimo didn't fight Haney. He should have done that a long time ago, but, you know, I think Teofimo saw the risk in Haney, and he didn't want, he didn't want that smoke. He didn't want to fight for undisputed because they had that, 
foolish, stupid lie on Teofimo being undisputed, which was not true, okay? But anyways, uh, so I think Haney Long deserved, you know, a shot at this, but it is what it is, and they, they just, you know, these fighters haven't fought him. Okay, whatever. So I put Haney, um, but it looks like, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, I, say, I think you guys saw this before, but I just want to emphasize this. Lomachenko, and this is one of the reasons why I think Lomachenko is most likely going to be next. Tank, we can forget about. Garcia, who cares right now? You know what I'm saying? I say it with all due respect. Ryan Garcia, who cares about that right now? About about what he's doing? I mean, if he's not going to get in the ring, and if he just keeps blabbing the mouth off, doing his social media stuff, <clears throat> whatever. Who cares? Okay? Other people can care. That's wonderful. But I don't. Okay? I think this is one of the reasons why, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at the polls, man. And I think it's Lomachenko, this 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 poll thing, it's going to it's gonna grow more for Lomachenko. Okay? It's going to grow more. So he says, Haney, Lomachenko, Tank. Haney, Lomachenko, Tank. I'm not even going to consider Garcia. Who's next? I want them all. Who do the great fans want to see me defend my crown against in 2022? Now, if we go to another thing here, another tweet. Okay, this is from uh, Devin Haney. Okay, this is from Devin Haney. You know, you can check it out. Links in the description of all this. Okay, the, the, the sources. Okay. Um, so we have here Devin Haney responding to that tweet. Okay. Devin Haney responding to what Cambosos put out there, all right? Let me just go ahead and zoom that just a little tad because it looks like a little smaller there. There we go. So Devin Haney is responding to that poll, okay? And he says, you got the right one first. Don't even know why you're still questioning it. And this is what Cambo responds down here. Do you see that? You and your team know exactly how to make it happen. Maybe sell some of your jewelry to help with that. You don't have to go to Jupiter, brother. Just 8,000 plus miles across the Pacific down under. So apparently, it looks like Cambo saying, you know, he wants to fight Devin Haney. Okay, it looks like he wants that smoke. But they're just going back and forth on Twitter. Okay, now this is what Haney responds. I want, I want, you, I want you to see this. This is what Haney responds. Okay, check it out. Let me go ahead and scroll just a tad down here. And this is what he responds to that tweet that we just saw. He says, yeah, 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 we all know you want a bidding war, okay? But you know who's really putting up the money. You said I would be next, so keep the same that same energy. I definitely agree with Devin Haney. I definitely agree with him, you know what I'm saying? Keep that same energy. You said, you know, you wanted me, so let's get it. And who's really putting up the money? It looks like Devin Haney saying that, you know, their team, they're the ones that, that that's pushing the money to do it, okay? To get this fight in. However... I want you to, this is another reason why I think the uh, the Lomachenko fight's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Check this out, okay? This is from uh, Steven Sorby, like I said, link in the description, check it out. Um, interesting post here. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, this is another reason why I think the Lomachenko fight's going to go down, man. I'm saying, I'm saying, guys. I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, you know, whether we like it or not, you know what I'm saying? So it says here, the global pay-per-view plus 80,000 live gate receipts at a stadium will more than suffice. The US audience aren't the intended market for this fight, ladies and gentlemen. Just pe check this out, okay? And this is this looks quite factual and quite, you know what I'm saying, logical and coherent when it comes to numbers and breaking down the thing, you know, the, the, the probabilities here. The US audience aren't the intended market for this fight. And that's, I think that's true because remember, ladies and gentlemen, Cambo's from Australia, man. This is the whole other side of the world here. You know, it is what it is, man. So Lopez fights in front of 5.5K in his home city. Haney can't sell out 16K in Vegas. I don't really know, and I haven't checked the numbers for Haney. I really don't know about that. Feel what it's like <laughs> to watch boxing at 3 a.m. for once. You know, when you talk about these, inter you know, this international stuff, like, you know, these events that go, like, for example, you know, Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua and Usyk, if I'm mistaken, that was huge. Uh, Anthony Joshua, you go back years back um, when he fought Klitschko. That was a huge when it comes to this crowd and you know i really haven't paid attention to how many people attend his events but i think it's a I, from what i've seen it's a lot of people man it's it's huge yeah the pay-per-view numbers are lower as far as i'm sorry the the the, the pay right the payment or whatever what you got to buy what you got to pay to to check the fights out or whatever but it's it's massive man those are massive numbers you know what i'm saying those stadiums are packed what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Who who do you because it, it boils down to the numbers, whether we like it or not. And I really don't do that number stuff. Y'all know me, man. I really don't do it. But it boils down to the numbers when it comes to sport of boxing, you know? Um Lomachenko and Camp Cambo, because they're from those parts of the of the pond, side of the pond, or whatever, right? 
in that area of the globe, um, I think they would do more numbers. Lomachenko, he seems quite more favored in those, you know, areas of the world. And Cambo, he has Australia, man. It seems like if they were to fight over there, it looks like Lomachenko would bring numbers too. A lot more numbers, possibly more numbers than Haney. Whether we'd like it or not, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why, those are some reasons why I think, man, that Lomachenko is going to be next. And like I said, I don't break down the numbers. I'm not the best in all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the best in all this stuff. But it seems like Lomachenko and Cambo is going to be next for the numbers. Now, I know it's debatable when it comes to the numbers and how many, you know, how many people come to Devin Haney's events, blah, blah, blah. I don't really know and I really don't check, okay? But I kind of think that, I repeat one more time, that Lomachenko and Cambo would do bigger numbers. You know what I'm saying? Um... But, you know, I, I incline towards that. I even said it I even said it in the post-fight reaction of this fight with Cambo and uh, Teofimo. You know, I said that it's most likely possibly going to be Lomachenko. And we're not even talking about Bob Aaron. We're not even talking about, you know, what he thinks and what he's trying to do. It looks like he's trying to push Lomachenko to go to Cambo, you know. And it's a big possibility, man, because we all know how Bob Aram has pushed and top rank has pushed Loma, pushed Lomachenko and has promoted him. We all know it. It's not a secret, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like Lomachenko has been promoted a lot more than, you know, some fighters out there when Lomachenko was a champ. Saying that he was, you know, as good as Muhammad Ali or whatever the heck Bob Aram has said about Lomachenko. I mean, you know, he has promoted him quite well. When you compare the promotion that with Bud Crawford and the accolades... And considering the accolades that Bud Crawford has, you know, accomplished, 135, 140, welterweight, man. But, but you know what I'm trying to say. It seems like Lomachenko has really been promoted a lot more. Having said that, man, that's why I think that Bob, those are some reasons why I think that Bob, he's going to push this as, as uh, you know, he's going to try to get this fight in. Because, you know, my guy, Lower Cooper, I reiterate once more what he said in the, in the post-fight reaction, uh, you know, live session we had that. You know, it seems like Bob wants them belts back. And obviously, I think that Lomachenko wants them belts back too. Lomachenko wants to be on top, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to he wants to he wants to get them belts back because he felt that L, you know, the the taste, the bitter taste of a loss, and he don't want to go through that again. And he's going to fight his butt off, you know, to to get these belts back and to be on top again. So that's why I said, ladies and gentlemen, I've said it before, Lomachenko, these guys got to watch out for Loma, man. If Lomachenko and Cambo fight, I'm deaf, and that's my next point. So if if Haney and Cambo don't fight, that's gonna suck, man. It sucks, okay. So you know it, it would suck, man, if Devin Haney can't fight if they don't fight Cam, Ca, uh, Haney and Cambosos. But at the same time, if Lomachenko and Cambo fight, I'll watch it, and I'll, and I think it's gonna be a great fight, man. I think it's gonna be a great fight, even though Haney does deserve it, man. He deserves it, you know. Let's just be factual here. But you know the politics. You know the freaking business of the sport of boxing. It's probably not going to happen. I try to be as realistic as possible. As possible. Just like I'm as realistic as possible when it comes to all these other fights and potential potential matchups. You know, for example, uh, uh, Spence versus Bud. You know, I mean, th it's been so long ago. I said, ladies and gentlemen, it's like a year and a half at least ago. I said, you know, this Spence Bud stuff, I'm over it, man. It's not going to happen. Uh, if And if it does happen, I, I was real clear on it. Shout out to my guy, Monty. Salute to my guy, Monty Brown TV, man. I, I went on his uh, channel once. He, he threw out a link out there on one of his lives. And it was about a year ago, a year and a half ago. It was a long time ago. Um, I said, you know, I don't see this fight happening. It, it's recorded. It's there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been saying for the longest time, man, that this Spence Bud stuff, man, it's not going to happen until at least 2022, if that, or 2023. And it looks like it's going exactly what I'm saying, man. Going out how I'm saying it. Even though a lot of people have been, you know, pushing and ranting and raving for it, I just try to be as realistic as possible. You know what I'm saying? This Spence Bud stuff, I've been over it for a long time. And I talk about it because, you know, fresh developments come out concerning what they say, you know, you know what Bud's doing, coming out of top rank, and what's going to happen now. And But I'm not really... You know, I'm just not looking out for it too much. I mean, of course, I want it to happen, but I'm just trying to be realistic. That's what I'm trying to say here. So the realistic part of me says, okay, um, Haney and Cambo, that's most likely not going to happen next. I hope it does, though, because Haney deserves it.
But if Cambo fights Loma next, I'm definitely going to watch that too. That's going to be a, a great fight, man. Okay, if Cambo turns around and fights Loma in Australia and those in that side of the of the of the of the, of the pond, it's going to do huge numbers, man. And it's and and a lot of people that you know pre probably don't favor this matchup are going to watch it. A lot of people are going to watch this fight, ladies and gentlemen. And it sucks. I reiterate one more time. And I'm not saying don't even get it twisted. Okay, I just said it several times already. I'm not saying that it's better for Cambo to fight Loma next. No, I just said it a moment ago that Haney deserves a shot, man. He has deserved it for a long time. But these freaking fighters in politics, they just don't give him the chance. It is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? So Haney deserves it, but if it doesn't happen next, Lomachenko and Cambo, it's going to be a great fight too. And most people are going to watch it. Okay, let's just be factual. You know what I'm saying? At least I am. Uh, I'm a sucker for the sport, man. I'm not going to watch it at that freaking time, though. You know, they're going to air it at 3 in the clock in the morning or whatever. And, and you know, whatever time they're going to air it, I'm not going to watch it. I'll be sleeping. So, you know, I'm not going to stay up for that. You know what I'm saying? But I'll watch it the next day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we'll see what happens, man. We really don't know what's going to happen next. But, you know, Campbell is taking this poll. More people are voting for Loma. You know what I'm saying? Bob Arum's going to push for this, I'm sure. Lomachenko is going to be pushing for it. He's going to be pulling on Bob Arum's pants. Hey, come on. Please, daddy, please. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Bob's the boss, and uh, Lomachenko is going to be insisting for that fight. He is going to be insisting for that fight. And I, I've said it before. You know, I've said it before. There's a reason why Lomachenko is fighting the opponents he's been fighting to get up to the top again. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. What do you guys think? Who do you think Campbell is going to fight next? Who do you guys think? I want to hear you guys. Please go ahead and opinionate. Comment in the comment section. Definitely. Um, and if it's Lomachenko, ladies and gentlemen, don't be surprised. You know what I'm saying? Do not be surprised, you know? But like I said, boxing has its surprises, right? For all we know, it's probably going to be Haney. Heck yeah. I love it. You know what I'm saying? But when you think about the numbers and stuff, I don't think so. Or for all we know, it's probably going to be one of these lower tier top 10s or 15s. So we'll just see what happens, man. Renee Boxung, I appreciate each and every one of you. Comment in the comment section. What are your opinions? What do you think is going to happen next for Cambo? Um, thank you guys so much. Like it up. Hit the notification bell. Renee Boxung on this platform. We simply discuss, critique, analyze, simply talk about sport of boxing in a level-headed, mature, coherent fashion. Definitely, man. Subscribers should stay one. As I always say, recent subscribers, you guys are all awesome. Thanks so much. Hit the notification bell so you know when I push content such as this and go live, etc., etc. Peace out. Stay safe. I'm not a